In this problem, we're told an antelope moving with a constant acceleration covers the distance between two points, 70 meters apart in six seconds. Its speed as it passes the second point is 15 meters per second. What are the A, its speed at the first point, and B, its acceleration? So I'm gonna draw a car because I can't really draw an antelope, but imagine we have this car here, or an antelope, and it's gonna be moving with a constant acceleration and covers the distance between two points. So this is gonna be the first point, and then we, it's gonna cover the distance between two different points which we know are 70 meters apart. So if I draw a line between these, and I'm gonna label this line 70 meters because that's the distance, and it's gonna cover this distance in six seconds. So six seconds, it's gonna cover this in. So let's draw like this, six seconds. And then we know its speed as it passes the second point. So if this is the first one, travels, second point, it's gonna be going 15 meters per second. So this is just a drawing of what's going on. And so what we're trying to find is its speed at the first point, so its speed here, and then the acceleration over this time. So now we've drawn what's going on. Let's go ahead and write down our given. That's what you should always do with these problems. And so we need to find the given of a bunch of different variables. So we're going to use kinematic equations to solve these, which are basically equations that we use to solve problems with constant acceleration, right? And they tell us it has constant acceleration. So we're going to use these equations. And what we want to do first is just write down every single variable in these and see if we have it or not. So every single variable, so we have V, we have delta X, or V sub zero, we have A, we have T, and we have delta X. So these are your five variables, essentially. Let's determine if we have these or not. So let's start with V. So V is going to be your final velocity, event, essentially your velocity at the end point. And so notice how we're given that, right? Because we start here, and we go all this way, and then at the end, they tell us we're moving 15 meters per second. So we know the final velocity is 15 meters per second. What about the initial velocity? So the initial velocity is its speed in the beginning, so at this point. And that's exactly what A is, is asking us for, its speed at the first point. So that's what we're trying to find for A, so we don't know that. What about acceleration? So notice how B is asking for acceleration too, so we don't know B, or we don't know acceleration either. So I'm going to write question mark for both of these. What about time? So time is the distance, or the time it takes to travel our interval. And so they tell us here, right, it's going to take six seconds to travel this. So we know the time is going to be six seconds. So essentially, that's that. And delta x is essentially you're changing your x position. So your starting position, or your, it's going to be your final position in meters minus your initial position in meters. So notice how, imagine your initial position is always zero, and then your distance, right, is just the distance you traveled. So this is going to be 70 meters. This is zero. So your change in x is going to be 70 meters, right? Because we go from zero to 70, so your change in x is 70 meters. So now we have our variables laid out. Let's go ahead and solve for the first one. So a is going to be its speed at the first point. So that's what we're solving for. And so keep in mind what the, we denoted this was, it's v sub zero. So if you look at these equations, we're solving for v sub zero. So we have to decide which equation to use. So notice what we're given here. So we're told, or we're given delta x, we're given v and we're given t. So which equation do you think we should use? So notice how 3, 4, and 1 all contain a. And we don't know a. So we can't use those. And so the only one left to use would be this one right here. And notice how we're given delta x, uh, we're given v, we're given t, and we're trying to find v sub 0, correct? And so we can just plug it in and solve for it. So let's go ahead and do that. So delta x, we know is 70. So 70 is going to be equal to parentheses v final velocity, 15, plus v sub 0, which we don't know, over 2 times t, which is going to be 6. So what we got to do is simplify this here. Uh, what I'm going to do is just combine this. So imagine this is 2 times 6, which is 3. So we can just rewrite this as 3 times 15 plus v sub 0. So what we can do is just multiply this out. So 3 times 15 and 3 times v sub 0. Uh, you should be pretty good at this by now. This is like algebra 1. And so what we can do is solve for v sub 0, right? So by minus 45 from both sides, you're going to get 25 equals 3 times v sub 0 divided by 3. And you'll get v sub 0 equals 8.3333 and so on. I'm just going to call it 8.33. And so what are the units of this, though? So notice how uh, velocity is measured in meters per second. So your units are going to be the exact same as your final velocity. Uh, velocity is essentially change in distance over change in time, or just total time taken. And so notice how distance is measured in meters, and seconds is time. So that's just what you need to know. 
And make sure when you do these, I forgot to include it, but make sure your units align up. So if you're using seconds in your velocity, make sure this is in seconds. If you're using meters for this, make sure meters is your same as your distance. So to just keep that in mind, but your answer to A is going to be 8.33 meters per second. So now let's move on to B. So we're going to do B. B is going to be its acceleration. So let me write this up here, actually. So 8.33 meters per second. So you can use a different equations for this because most of them line up. You have all the variables now except for one. So you can use all of them except for the one that doesn't contain A, which is this one. So you can pick any one. I'm going to choose this one right here. V equals V sub zero plus A times T. So we have all these variables. We just have to plug it in. So we know V is 15 equals V sub zero, 8.33 plus A, which is what we're solving for. So we just leave it as A times T, which is six. So plus six A. Now we just want to solve for A. So I'm going to minus 8.33 from both sides. 15 minus 8.33 is 6.67, which equals six A. And then to solve for A, just divide both sides by six. If you do this, you're going to get A equals 1.111, so on. So 1.11. And then the units we use for acceleration, if you're using meters and seconds, is meters per second squared. So that's going to be the units for this one. So your uh, the acceleration is going to be 1.11 meters per second squared. And so this right here is going to be your answer to B. And so, yeah, acceleration 1.11 meters per second squared. Uh, the speed at the first point is 8.33 meters per second. And so, yeah, those are going to be your answers, and hopefully you found this video useful.